Hi, thanks. Thanks for spending a little time with us today. My name is Steve Salinas. I'm the head of product marketing here at Sell It Cyber. Joining me today is Jen Grolick, co-founder and COO of Legato Security. Hi, Jen. How are you? Hey, I'm great. Thanks. How are you doing? Very good. Very good. So we are a managed security service provider, uh, and you know we provide services to companies to to really help them out with their cybersecurity. So uh, we have services that range from you know the standard twenty four seven security operations center with analysts giving eyes on glass, responding to security alerts, and really handling all of that high level incident response and and threat detection that every company needs. But we also have have a, a really robust consulting practice. So today we're going to we're going to be diving into a topic that is uh, pretty relevant and new around some FEC compliance mandates that were just recently released. Maybe if you can give us a quick overview of that. Yeah, absolutely. There's there's a new regulation where publicly traded companies are required to disclose material security breaches within their environments. And and the reason this is important is because, you know, there are so many companies who who haven't established or or don't really have a handle on what their incident response procedures are, they might not even know what is considered a material security breach. And the SEC regulation is requiring that you disclose that within four days of being notified of, of the breach or or determining that that breach as being material. And the, the regulation also requires that companies have a risk management program. And these are areas where even companies who have put a little budget toward their cybersecurity, maybe they have endpoint protection software. Maybe they are monitoring. Maybe they're working with the you know, company where they've got that 24-7, you know, operational support, there's not a lot of emphasis or budget or time usually spent on the compliance stuff behind their cybersecurity program. Companies are finding themselves a little flat-footed here because, you know, it's it's not been a requirement before. So, you know, sometimes it's tough to get budget until you absolutely have to. And that's really, really true in, in compliance in particular. So it sounds like, and I would agree with you, that a lot of the companies, you know, probably aren't ready for this. And, and do you, when is this due to, to kick in or, or do they set a timeline on when it's, when they expect these to be enforced? So for most companies, it's coming in, in place December 18th. Oh, wow. uh, so it's, it's very, very close. Um, you know, this is really, really revel- relevant and companies, uh, you know, need to need to pay attention to this now. Um, you know, there are a few differences in the regulations. Some companies have until I believe next July, but regardless, it's within a few months, which is is no time in cybersecurity. What are some of these steps that you might recommend organizations start to, to obviously they don't have a lot of time, but to, to take? Mm-hmm. I really recommend that, uh, you know, people work with experts that do this day in and day out to determine where are my gaps and where do I need to focus my attention first? Because maybe a company has an incident response plan already written. That's a really common requirement for privacy laws, for getting cyber insurance even. And so, you know, many companies might have that on paper, but have they ever exercised it? Do they know how they might detect and respond to a breach? And then just they need to understand if this SEC filing this regulation affects me, I need to read it. I need to understand, you know, what's there. So this is impacting the publicly traded companies, but obviously there are a lot more that are not publicly traded, but is this something that that even a private company should kind of keep an eye on? Absolutely. You know, really, I I would argue that every company has a responsibility to secure their data. You know, it's not just their obligation to their customers, their vendors, their, you know, any entity where they may house and and, and, uh, contain private data. Uh, It's it's really, it's a reputational risk. It can be a business ending damaging event to have a breach that you're not prepared for, either to prevent, detect, or respond to. And so, you know, really, Private companies uh, should be paying attention to this too. But additionally, over the last decade or two, we have seen a lot of laws and regulations passed. Uh, you know, because all of these laws and regulations have been creeping up over the years, you know, presidential executive orders, data privacy laws, um, you know, now the SEC 
companies are being held accountable for their data privacy. So it's only a matter of time before, you know, more and more things are put in place that hold you know, any company uh, responsible for the data that, that they are responsible for. You know, so many breaches in the past have been caused by a third party compromise. You know, Target, the Target breach comes as a good example. They were compromised because their HVAC vendor you know, clicked on a phishing email and gave up their credentials. And then it was over. And that HVAC vendor wasn't a publicly traded company. And so, you know, you can, you can really have an impact uh, that, that affects a lot of people and a lot of data, even if you're just a small 10, 15, 20, 40 person organization. Yeah, I totally agree. I mean, I think this is a good wake up call for just any organization. If you're getting customer data, couldn't agree with you more. You, it's your responsibility to, we would, we rely and trust that you're going to take care of our data, you know, no matter if you're mm -hmm. created on the NASDAQ or not, you know, I think it's, it's a really, really important point. So it sounds like, like Legato security can, can help with a lot of these requirements. So, so what are some of the things that you, that you are helping with or that you can help with companies to meet these regulations? Absolutely. So, you know, we do have an SEC regulatory and compliance readiness assessment that we have created, as well as a service. And so, you know, we understand that, especially for small businesses and mid markets, it doesn't make sense for you to go hire six or seven people uh, to, to clean up your security program and manage it for you. And that's exactly what many of our services were designed to, to assist companies with. And so, you know, we, we, we have one specific specifically around this SEC readiness. Uh, and, you know, that includes an incident response plan review or development, if you don't have one, um, a tabletop exercise for that. And what that means is, you know, with all of the stakeholders, we, we develop a scenario, okay, you've been breached, now what? And we really exercise what that plan is saying, so that before we're looking at a real life breach, we know, oh, hey, this communication wasn't there, or, or, or this didn't go to plan or I realized that you know these computers don't have the right protections on them and so we can help you fix that and make sure you know all of the gaps are being addressed and, and discovered uh, and that also includes a risk management evaluation so you know every company needs to have some sort of risk management uh, program around that and it's more than just incident response it's you know where are your backups stored uh, you know how how are you protecting your systems do you know what's on your network? Do you know where your risks are? And that's super important. That's really um, one of the first steps. So, uh, and then, you know, we will give you reporting and filing guidance. And, you know, one of the biggest uh, value adds I think where our team can provide is we will perform hands-on keyboard remediation of security events. And that is really rare amongst service providers like ours, where uh, you know, most most companies like ours will say, hey, at three in the morning, we saw a problem on your firewall. Here you go. You know, now you get to go run it down and figure mm -hmm. it out and decide, is this really a problem and fix it? Our team will fix it for you and then tell you the next day, hey, we blocked this thread on your firewall. Here's what happened. Here's what you need to know about it. But it didn't cause any damage because we were there to stop it. And, and that's really, really valuable, especially for, you know, companies that have smaller uh, security teams teams or no security teams at all. So, you know, we can fill any cybersecurity gap you may have and give you some peace of mind. Well, it sounds like you're offering a lot of really great services that can really be life service for these companies that are that are just finding themselves ill-prepared. As the, you know, more data compliance and requirement regulations are coming, is there anything else you think that might be coming down in the future? I mean, or do you have any sense for what, what might also be uh, coming down the path? For companies? Sure. I, I really think that we're going to be looking more, more strict data privacy laws, more requirements, breach notifications. Um, you know, many states already require that you disclose a breach to them if customer data within their state has been affected. Um, and this is, is true of, of private companies and public companies. So um, I think that a lot is going to happen to hold companies accountable for 
for caring about security. But I promise any company that is facing an incident or a breach, if they've done that prep work and and, and gotten their ducks in, in a row beforehand, they never regret spending the time and money they did beforehand. So, uh, you know, it's definitely, you know, a lot of companies are, are in these situations and not everybody's doing it perfectly and that's okay. So, you know, we can we can help you get from where you are to where you need to be. Well, great conversation. Thanks for, for spending a lot of time with me today on this. And and if anyone has any questions about Legato Security, make sure you click on the link. It'll be below this video. Or if you have any questions about Stellar Cyber and what we can offer in, in our OpenXDR platform, definitely reach out to us to set up a meeting.